Destiny. Um, Not so sure about Ryan anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of his channels was gone, at least, oh. after that thing. But, I, mean, I mean, yeah, they, 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 they are still on the... Uh, uh, they're on the radar, so to speak. Mm. Um, although, I, I, although I have my doubts as to whether they really want to get big or not, and here's here's the reason why I tell you tell you why. Go on. I don't think Bernard Pullman wants to get too big because if he gets too big, he'll get more attention. If he gets more mm. attention, he could actually possibly get in trouble with real authorities. That's very true. When do you have to pay taxes? I mean, it, it, so it's in his best interest, in the interest of his, himself and his family. To stay about where he's at, and to not really get too much bigger, because if he if he starts creating waves, that's when the the you know the, the law enforcement and that's when they start looking at you. you mm. They start taking more notice when you start when people start complaining a lot more about this group. That's when you draw the kind of attention that he does not want. Understandable. I I've heard. I'm not sure how true this is, but I've heard rumors of it that people have contacted the. Uh, the South African authorities. Oh, yeah, they yeah. have. Mm. Yeah. And, you know, it's been uh, a thing where people, you know, people have only come across uh, the information on YouTube. They haven't realised the size of it. They looked into it and they've realised the true nature of it and they've contacted the authorities. And I could understand they wouldn't want to get too big uh, in that regard then because uh, they've got a stable, if relatively small, number of followers. And obviously they're like cash cows. You know they're going to go. They're going to be forced to have to go to work or beg off friends to get donations and money for their course or courses yeah, and, as time and, goes and on. Poland's, I mean, fine because he he's he's at the center of the the, the scam. All the money's flowing towards him. He, mm. he ain't got a problem with really getting too much bigger. I mean, he's. Uh, I mean, I mean, I guess. I mean, yeah. I'm sure he'd want more money, but mm. at what cost? Mm. True, true. Also, he'd have to start uh, backing his weird claims of saving humanity up. Yeah. He'd have to hire people, like economic experts and scientists and doctors and people who know stuff. Mm. Or someone who was like, oh, I took one class on economy, so now I'm an expert. I mean, despite the fact that I slept throughout the half the half <laughs> and did self-forgiveness on my notebook instead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they're not very attentive people, really. Uh, all this, let's go back to school and study stuff. We do not really have the ability to comprehend thing. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> mm. You know, I think, um, you know, obviously if Destiny is settled where it is, and Destiny stole a lot of their ideas from, like, Zeitgeist and the New Age movement and other various beliefs, it's obviously going to be very possible that someone's going to pick up the idea and run with it. That someone's going to pick up the ideas of the Destiny cult and perhaps eventually uh, weave it into their own beliefs, but with proper economics. You know? And it that is, might. It is possible, yeah. Mm. I agree. That, is, that is a danger. Mm. It'd be interesting if it does. Mm. But the, the thing is, we, we now have. Um, because of Destiny and these other groups, we have, we have a record, we have something we can go back to and look at. To compare it to something, any anything that new that pops its head out. Yeah, we, yeah. We can go. Oh, okay. Well, we know what 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 kind of we know what color horse you are. Yeah. Because <laughs> we we've seen it before. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I suppose it's you know I mean that's the real uh, well the good reason to oppose many of these uh, small and sometimes dangerous cults. It helps them. Well, it helps people to know the difference between a dangerous group and a non-dangerous group uh, you know and I no, the non-dangerous usually don't want as much money yeah yeah it's like you know give a little bit but you don't have to give too much we just need to you know do this here's accountability uh, you know here's how much money we made last year and it went into these projects to you know try and uh, do something I'm not entirely comfortable with all of that but at least it's not like with uh, the second, like, Destiny Farm, which obviously, you know... Oh, yeah. That whole thing there where everyone was basically funneling huge amounts of donations and then, you know, Destiny just remained silent about it. You know, no when talk you ask of... them about it, they can never tell. They just mm. stop talking to you instantly. It's the best yeah. way to get rid of an annoying Destonian, really. You mm. say, hey, what's with the second farm? Have you been there? <laughs> and they go, oops. 
Oops, gotta go. Mm. Embarrassed. <laughs> I don't know. In Funny fact, weird people. It kind of, <laughs> it kind of reminds me of um, there's another uh, like YouTuber who's a bit of a uh, an attention bag, and uh, basically he he's, he's known as uh, Brian is Yahweh, and his name's Brian uh, Marshall, and he okay. claims to be Jesus reincarnated on Earth, and he's so basically this is a popular thing to do. It is. So he's married to that other woman. <laughs> Not, you'd think so, wouldn't you? You would think so. Maybe we should get hooked up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we'll get on like a house on fire, literally. <laughs> yeah. Um, he keeps on spinning these ideas of Nibiru 2012, same sort of, you know, uh, things as ever, really. They just keep on, you know, spinning all these popular um, ideas which get lots of views. And he lives in a hotel. In fact, it's a. Uh, an apartment in a, like a hotel complex, and he gets it all paid for by uh, telling people wild stories about the Bible, about uh, you know the God of the Old Testament, Yahweh, and all this kind of stuff, along with Nibiru 2012, uh, talk of like aliens, end of the world, and his own divinity. He's able to spin the idea and able to live in relative luxury by basically being a scam artist bullshitter. Yeah. You know? So it works yeah, out quite, quite well. It's quite easy when you don't have much of a conscience. Yeah, absolutely. Although the really disturbing thing about that guy, he goes a bit further than uh, any of the cult leaders I've, you know, spoken about or heard of on YouTube. He actually went over to Papua New Guinea, because he lives in Australia. He went over to Papua New Guinea. And um, he was selling um, AIDS cures. Oh, boy. Yeah. And he was trying to get people to take these AIDS cures, and they took it on because they've got practically no infrastructure in Papua New Guinea. It's like uh, really, uh, you know, very, very tribal, very extremely undeveloped, uh, you know. And he was able to go out there and uh, give people... Have you heard of this? Um, I can't remember which one it was. I think it was the colloidal silver uh, drinking water. You know, thing which conspiracy theorists go on about and they say, oh, you know, drinking colloidal silver um, treated water will actually help you to, you know, break down disease and things like that. They're selling this as miracle water to uh, they, some of the poorest people the in the world. Hmm? <laughs> does it get rid of the fluoridation? Yeah. And apparently he said that that, along with um, magnets and electrodes placed on the skin... Wow electrified the blood and magnetized it and then the water helps to cure the um the aids hiv uh leukemia and a variety of other conditions so you know, if, if if he okay he said he was jesus right yeah well if he's jesus he doesn't need that crap he could just yeah. wave his hand he can, he can yeah wine. yeah so why would he need to like get uh you know quack medicine take it over to Papua New Guinea, he could just, like, fly over the place, wave his hand and say, no more AIDS for the whole planet if he wanted. But, yeah. you know, obviously he, uh, he went over there to make money and he's been banned from that country and he's also been banned from Fiji and uh, the Australian authorities are keeping a very close eye on him at the moment in case he does actually, uh, you know, try and do it again. So he's, you know, basically, uh, he's on the very edge of serious legal ramifications, but he's been smart enough to do it where there isn't any real um, ability to actually, um, well, do much more than simply ban him from going there. So, yeah, that, that, and that's how these people operate, mm. is they, they float the right just beneath the radar. Yeah. So that they don't have to worry about getting into trouble. I mean, it, that's how con artists work, that they... They, they know where, about where the line is, and they don't cross it. Very true. I think he came very close, though, because um, Australian uh, news, I think it was, um, I don't know, perhaps something like, I don't know, Australian Broadcasting Corporation or something, uh, they did a news story, and um, they actually had like footage of him over in Papua New Guinea and other things, and for a brief while... Um, 
it seemed like he was going to be actually arrested, put on trial, or possibly uh, extradited or something. But I think he simply um, managed to, well, weasel out of it. Managed to, you know, stay, you know, briefly above the radar, but now he's able to, like, vaguely remain below it. Although, thankfully, uh, according, well, from what I've seen, <clears throat> his uh, YouTube channels, which was his main, uh, like, source of, like, well, obviously still is, income and everything else, tension. Most of his channels in the past, the big channels, have been shut down as being a scam. Very much like the Destiny uh, main channels did as well. 